Hey internet friends, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Hurricane Helene video I did about Lower Appalachia and the horrible destruction that I posted on Monday. There are some more updates that I wanted to share with y'all that I, it's coming out pretty quickly and I just wanted to get this up. But So it's looking like a lot of the government response that has come, you know, three, four days later after people have been doing these you know, helicopter pilots have been flying rescue missions for these people. It looks like that the government of North Carolina, local government, I don't know. I, it's not real clear who the sheriff is threatening to arrest these people doing these rescue missions and saying, you know, don't fly drones around the area. Don't, um bring in donations that aren't approved. A lot of people are getting turned away for their donations. And it's something is afoot here. And I am going to play some clips for you. Our goal is to make sure that funding is no obstacle to very quickly getting people the relief that they need and deserve. There's also some safety issues that come up. For example, uh, temporary flight restrictions to make sure that uh, the airspace is clear for any uh, flights uh, or drone activity that, that might be uh, involved in helping to uh, uh, allow those emergency responders to do their job. Uh, and the federal relief and assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750 for folks who need immediate needs being met. Keep in mind that I told you that immigrants receive somewhere between $1,500 and $3,000 a month on a debit card and aid from the federal government. And Kamala has offered $750 to victims of this hurricane. This is officially an archive video because all of this is gonna get memory hold and we're gonna forget about it, but not, not us. I just saw the video of Kamala Harris in my hometown, Augusta, Georgia speaking to people like everything's going to be okay. She's sitting here telling us that go online, apply. Well, okay, A, hundreds of us still don't have power, internet services. Sure, we can get to it. We can fight. We can apply. We can get on it for immediate assistance. Well, I went on because uh, we, we split. We went to Columbia right away and got our hotel room. Now, um, luckily, we're in an Airbnb. This is a place that we get to live. I get to give my kids some hot water, some power, some food, just some comfort, something to help them know that this is going to be okay while our house is back home destroyed and filling up with water. Um, the floors are caving in. Hundreds of people. That's happening to everybody around the city. Um, like I said, we still don't have water, still don't have power. Slowly it's getting restored, and I think all the linemen that are out there working so hard from all the other states, they're the only ones that are actually getting things done, not the freaking government. Well, okay, I went on FEMA, I applied, and I immediately got denied uh, because apparently I have homeowner's insurance, and that's going to cover that, and okay, sure, I know, it will. It'll get taken care of. Thank God we're all safe and alive. I know it's just things. It's a house, but it's not immediate, and I don't know what is she talking about. I have no idea. Nobody I know has had immediate assistance. Nobody's $750, what, to our cash app? What are you going to give? How, how are we going to do this? How are we going to get this? Okay, next one, a helicopter pilot and his son have been flying these rescue missions into the Carolinas and um, at their own dime, own expense. And they stop to pick up some people and the pilot tells his son, hey, I'll come back for you. It's just a little too heavy for the helicopter. And basically, I can't roll the whole clip because I'll get flagged for copyright, but the, when he gets back to the town, the sheriff says that if he goes back to get his son or goes in on any more rescue missions, he's going to get arrested. The, uh, at that time, I didn't know, but Lake Lure, fire chief or assistant chief maybe, and he shut down the whole operation. So at, at that point, there was I felt like the conversation wasn't going any further. And again, he asked me to leave, and, and, and I said, hey, I have no problem getting out of your area. If that's what you want us to do, we'll, we'll leave, no issue. At that point, I asked him, you know, what was the reason I had to leave them there? And, and he said, again, you're interfering with my operation. I, I just need you to get out of the area. I said, sir, I'm, I don't know where you were trained at, but I know how my training is and I'm not gonna leave personnel behind. I'm, I'm going back to get my co-pilot. He said, if you turn around and go back up the mountain, you're gonna be arrested. So I've heard from people around me who are going to go help that the surrounding hotels are occupied by FEMA and these people who have lost, you know, all, all their possessions and their homes they can even stay in the surrounding hotels because FEMA is occupying them. FEMA also announced after spending hundreds of millions of dollars on immigrants that they don't have any money left to provide for hurricane relief. 
this particular disaster. And I really think something is afoot. I don't know how true that these posts are, how accurate or true, but I see a lot of the same stories being relayed. That FEMA is coming into these towns and they're confiscating a lot of the donations and not letting volunteers help unless they're trained in some sort of specific way and turning away donations and volunteers. So the advice now is to focus your relief efforts, like give to the churches if you have supplies, um, give money. If you want to give money, give it directly to the individuals. No going through Red Cross. And if you are a disbeliever in that this is actually happening, look at the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency's post. While local communities appreciate the volunteer spirit during disasters, please do not send donations that have not been requested by state or local authorities. TEMA is not accepting volunteers or donations until the life safety mission is complete. Tennesseans do not self-deploy to disaster areas. This will hinder response and recovery operations. TEMA, I'm guessing that's FEMA for Tennessee. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's supposed to be the disaster relief people, but they were like, do not donate your time. We don't want your, we don't want you to donate time unless we ask for you. And we don't want you to donate stuff to other people. You need to just donate money and stuff to us and get your instructions from us and listen to us. What? And then you say, they said yesterday, we don't go into areas that the roads are not easily accessible. What? You are the debt disaster relief people. Like that is your job to go into the areas that are hit by disaster and provide relief. And you have us all messed up. If you think you're gonna come here and bark orders at us and then expect the people just to give you the money and us trust that you're gonna to try to take care of us when you not you don't go into areas that are not easily accessible. What? What the government is doing right now to the entire state of North Carolina and Tennessee is a nothing short of just plain awful like I do not physically have the words for it because if you don't know we have not heard from my aunt since Friday because of Cur Hurricane Helene and there is no government aid none zero zilch there's a few but it's small government offices mainly run by civilians because you want to know what's happening right now in North Carolina and Tennessee there are entire towns that there is no way in or out those roads are not drivable because of the mudslides and the power lines and the downed trees. There are doctors right now physically walking across that because their cars can't get through to go help these people. So I'm at the New Dell Fire Department. Here is what supplies they have so far. Um, absolutely nothing from the government. This is all volunteers, um, just personal donations. So this is where your money on the GoFundMe is going. Um, but yeah, the government is not helping. Um, this is just local people banding together and bringing supplies. So, um, yeah, the government won't come save you. It's your neighbors and family that will be there for you when you need it. Um, we just flat these people volunteers. No help from no one else. We just get volunteers bringing in water and supplies. This is awesome. Yeah, this is all personal donations. This is not government. This is people just doing this out of the kindness of their heart. So, um, some volunteers donated some supplies, but I mean, this is all being unloaded by hand. Um, there's not equipment to even unload pallets. So, but this is amazing. We greatly appreciate all your help. Yeah, here's some supplies that are rolling in. We got some MREs and propane. That is awesome. And water. Water is desperately needed. Thank you. Get 
do Americans need permission from the government to help other Americans in need? What's going down is very strange and a lot of this is going to get memory hold and we're going to forget about it, okay? But I want to document this. This is what's happening right now. When a lot of these people still haven't been found, I'm hearing all kinds of horror stories. I have to wonder if the reason why they don't want drones being flown in mass over over these areas is because the devastation is crazy.